Good afternoon, viewers, and welcome back to your weekly dose of youth news. Generation C is the show that tells you why the zone, which is inserted inside our daily publications, Namibian Sun, Republican, and Algamina Zeitung, is a perfect read on a Tuesday. My name is Justicia Shipena, and I'll be your host for today's show. To see what my zone is all about, have a look at the following video. Yesterday, we celebrated the Day of the Namibian Child under the theme Access to a Child-Friendly Justice System during the COVID-19 pandemic. And the day um, reflects on how and what, in, on what challenges uh, children are faced with conflicts in the law order to make pathways to access to a child to a child-friendly justice system here in Namibia. And we went to Eros Primary School and asked some of the learners of the school to say what makes them proud to be a Namibian child. And here is what they had to say. Hi, my name is Puya. I'm from Eros Primary School, Grade 7. I'm proud to be a Namibian child because um, this is my country and there are rules. Um, um, we have rights for the rules and we are independent. And that's all I want to say. Thank you. My name is Shemaine Kanji. I'm in Grade 7 e, And why I'm proud to be a Namibian child is because we have rights, but with those rights comes responsibilities to go to school and to be with my friends and my family. My name is Joseph Asifana. I'm uh, in grade 7 at Eros Primary. And why I'm proud to be a Namibian child is because I have a family that trusts me and loves me. Hi, I'm Tasha. My surname is Huyaman, and I'm in grade 7A. How does it feel to be, to be a Namibian child? To be a Namibian child, I'm proud to become a Namibian child because we get the chance to be to have freedom and we get the chance to dream and become the leaders of the next generation. Now on our front page for this week's The Zone, we had the lovely Hosea Hashili, who, is, who graduated cum laude last year from the University of Science and Technology, that's NAST. And just to read more about this young gentleman and what he's up to in his career path, he has recently enrolled into an MBA program and also managed to secure a job as an engineer. So grab yourself a copy and read all things youth and read all about Hosea. Maybe you can become inspired and all that. So yeah. <laughs> now One Africa Television has partnered with my zone, which is the youth brand of Namibia Media Holding. This entails um, from the project that the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture in pardon me, collaboration with the United Nations International Children's Fund, UNICEF, uh, partnered to offer educational lessons to learners who are in grade, in grade zero to grade seven. And this educational content entails science, math, and all that you have. So with this, um, the hashtag learn on one, my zone grade zero to seven lesson will air on Mondays to Fridays from nine o'clock until 11.30 with an, afternoon, with an afternoon repeat, which will be at one o'clock to 1600 hours. So speaking of corporates and doing the most, last week Friday, the Lifeline Child Line Namibia celebrated its 40th anniversary. And it's nice to see that they are still going on about to see that they are there for the Namibian child and for social well-being and also mental health and campaigning for that. So speaking of education, the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture has implemented the new curriculum this year, which entails uh, grade 11 learners to graduate from high school this year. So that means that grade 11 learners will then enroll for the 2021 academic year in for university. So to read more about what universities are um, willing to accept you if you are a grade 11 learner, uh, how you can go about it, and now speaking about their foundation programs, you know, saying that they are still in discussion with how you can enroll into their un university with a grade 11 certificate. Have yourself a pill and see yourself on page eight. There is all the juices that you need to know. So. Speaking of education, Rosewood Academy 
is working on a project which is also in its final stages of establishing an integrated learning system unit for learners with special education needs. This project will fully be in full swing and operational as of January 2021. Now, our focus feature for the week focuses on learning more about the three levels of government and the importance of the regional and local authority election. We all know that the upcoming regional and local uh, authority elections are around the corner. So maybe if you want to find out of how you can go about to air your voice, how you can go about to see who are your councillors, what does the local authority entails. So please grab yourself a copy. And I said to say that that's it. And that's the end of our show. We'll see you again next week, Tuesday, as we bring you all things youth, by the youth, for the youth. So my name is Justicia Shippen. I join me next time on Generation C as we tell you all about youth news across the country.